let's discuss what is the difference between ant and maven so firstly what is ant it's a build tool and uh, the purpose which for which it was made was it was a replacement for a earlier tool which was called make tool it was also a build tool but it has lot it had a lot of uh, problems which was solved by ant and one of the biggest problems which make tool had was it was not cross platform and and uh, you could build your projects across platforms without any problems so this was the biggest advantage when it was developed it is built on java xml so it has it has got a build.xml file uh, where you can mention all your configuration uh, one of the uh, disadvantages of ant uh, you could say is it's quite sequential um what it means is when you look at a sample build.xml file you will see that everything is in sequence and the way you build your project you have to mention all the steps in sequence so and there's there are a lot of details which you need to provide in the build.xml file like the target name uh, the directory you need to make sure the directory is correct uh also there is no set format uh, for this build.xml file every project could have its own build.xml file which could have different naming convention and different uh sequence based on the project requirement so one build.xml file cannot be reused across projects which is again a big big disadvantage now coming to uh the differences between maven and ant so maven uh, in itself is a black box what it means uh, we don't need to see the complexities behind uh, the build file so you just mention a build artifact id a build version and a, and uh, all the complexities will be handled by maven itself you don't need to mention anything in sequence you don't, don't need to do a lot of configuration within the build file so you just need to follow the con convention and do not configure a lot of things right so that's convention over configuration so maven you need to follow the convention and not do a lot of configuration now maven does all your dependency management uh, using transitive dependencies and other other types of dependencies so you don't need to worry about um, all the dependencies which are being used in your project you just mention them uh, in the pom.xml file and it will download and maintain uh, at its local repository now there is a set project life cycle for maven and the big, biggest advantage here is if you are performing a particular goal uh, or a phase in a particular build phase then all the other goals will also be executed in that life cycle so it's not like if you are not executing one particular goal it will not be executed the previous goal will be executed when you are entering into a set uh, a particular goal in that build uh, life cycle right so one of the disadvantage uh, you can say about maven is yeah. it's not easy to learn there is a learning curve uh, which could be steep uh, but uh, in the long run i think maven is quite helpful and easy to maintain uh, once you learn the basics uh, basic concepts of maven now coming to ant it's a legacy app because not much development is happening in ant and the maven is quite uh, have a lot of features which are being continuously developed uh it's easy to trace um in ant because uh, in build life cycle we have to mention all the configuration step by step so we know in which step what is going to happen but it's not the same case in maven maven now coming to learning curve i think ant is uh, easier to learn compared to maven because there are not a lot of things which uh, you have to learn in ant but there are a lot of concepts which you have to know uh, to work in maven now as we saw the build file it quite complex in ant uh, and we'll see how it is in maven uh, which is much less complex right so as you can see this is the pom.xml file which handles all the 
uh, build uh, build process within Maven. So you just need to provide the group ID, artifact ID, and version, and probably you can also provide the packaging as jar, and it will uh, develop the jar file for you. But the same, uh, you need to mention all these different steps uh, in the same sequence, right? In order to build that same jar. So that's the difference between uh, the complexity which is there uh, in the build files in Ant versus Maven. Also, uh, the project size could be much larger in terms of Ant, while a Maven downloads its dependency just once and maintains it in the local repository. Uh, in case of Ant, it could be much larger. So these are the dependencies uh, which are present in Maven and Ant. And as you can see, Maven is much richer in terms of features. And Ant is a probably a older tool, uh, which not so, so many features, right? So uh, let's see in the next video, how we can set up Maven on a Windows machine.